people, wonder shall never end. Hey, my people, breeze don't blow. Ashley, Nash, don't open. You don't open very, very wide. Though. We don't see the guy. Hey, no be smart, you know. Hmm. Oh, wow. Anyway, guys, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, okay? Give this video a thumbs up and watch to the end and tell me what you think about it. Guys, what we are hearing right now, allegedly, is that if a priest don't expose uh, Ulori Ashley, from what we heard, though, they say Ashley left the palace for some days only for her to return back with a deity, my people. Hey. Anyways, I am not surprised when I heard that she returned with a deity. But I became surprised when I heard what uh, Ifa Priest said concerning what she came back with. According to her, they said she came back. That the first news that she broke to KBSU was that she is pregnant. You know, after talking about that one, she, when KBC asked her what the deity was for, she said, allegedly, that the, uh, the deity is to protect KBC, that there are a lot of forces fighting KBC, that the reason why she brought that was for KBC to have maximum protection. Hey! <laughs> And the second BSC told her that, have she forgotten that she's a deity on her own? That no matter where the forces are coming, that they are never going to get to her, get to him, that he is protected already. And he said no, that he knows what is good for her husband, that this and that. They said while he was doing that, they said uh, uh, if a priest was coming to the palace. And they said the moment if a priest stepped foot into the palace, his countenance changed and he started asking questions. He started say, uh, saying abomination, abomination. They said he said it up to three times and asked, who brought in a strange god into their land? Who brought in a strange god into this uh, royal settings? They said she asked that question like three to four times. And that was when Kabiesi told him that a uh, one of his wives actually came back with a, a deity claiming that uh, she is there to uh, she brought it so that the deity will be protecting him and everything and they said the king said abom uh, the fa priest said that this is indeed abomination that what she is up to is not all about protection that she is so self-centered that they can do anything, they can go extra mile to get what they want. They said if a priest told Kabiesi that if he still value his life and his throne, that he shouldn't listen to Ash, let alone allowing her uh, bring that deity closer to him. That the gods of their land is against that deity that she brought. And before she brought that deity to this palace, that she sacrificed something huge just to bring it in. Then, and her reason for bringing it in is not for protection. That he wants to exchange, exchange something great, someone's glory with that. That is the promise that he made, that she made, sorry, before they gave her that date. And they said the king was like, what? No, it's not true. And they said, uh, if a priest told him it is true. And at that point, uh, the second BSC is ready to blow, as in give it to her water, water. But they said, if a priest told her that, see, that he is giving her just 24 hours, 24 hours to remove that deity from the palace, or else that she is going to uh, report her to the gods. And that she is the daughter of the gods does not uh, mean that when she offend the gods, that they are not going to punish her severely. That if after 24 hours, she did not remove that stuff from that palace, that he is going to change it for her. And I was like, is this really happening? Hey! Now, wow. Now, wow. 
this quinomis return eh these people will do anything anything be even the ones that are beyond their capacity just to ensure that quinomis did not return back because it is obvious that all they wanted is to have the king under their palms so that they will be able to control him and ensure that quinomis did not return back although before now we have had several revelations and prophecies that it is going to be a tough fight between Kabiesi and the, the wives over Quenomi's return. But they should not give up. But at, that at the end, that uh, Quenomi is going to return in glory, my people. And I can see the fight is really going on because with what we have been hearing from the palace recently, it is very clear that that prophecy is manifesting. Is it not the other day we heard that... Uh, uh, Ronke brought her own and when the, that one started manifesting she denied it then when she ran to her family compound the thing followed her then it was only then that she started confessing how she went to Zimbabwe Republic how she did this how she did that and up, up to now I don't, and up to now, I don't think the thing have been removed from her family house because they said they invited the far priest to come and see if he would be able to help them and carry that thing out of that place. They said the thing, <laughs> the thing, eh, the kind of noise it was making, even the far priest cannot even concentrate, let alone succeeding. They went and brought a pastor. They said that one. <laughs> yeah? And when I hear all of this thing, I said, if all of this information are true, <laughs> that is karma for you. That is karma for you. There's no other way that karma works. <laughs> they brought she brought it to the palace to come and do another job. And the thing turned around to start doing another job. And from what we said, they said that is because the power that is in that place is stronger than the ones that they brought. And I said, now wow, these women, Zukwana Nike, eh? Let them go and rest. Oh, they need to rest because this bus goes, it will end them nothing but problems you know one day now they will develop heart attack or because they are fighting who is not fighting them or because they are fighting to make sure that we normally did not return back to the palace as if they are god it's only god who will say what will happen in this case and the earlier they realize this the better for all of them anyways they say the fabrics have given her 24 hours if she they move it and they will hear about it, I'll bring it to you here. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. They are not for stand information, okay? Don't be me talking. Now here I hear them. I always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye for now.